in this video, I'm going to share how to use UJAM's Virtual Pianist MIDI Out feature so that your chords can go from this to this. All right, step one, set up your MIDI out. I like to start with Scalar 2 and route that MIDI into Virtual Pianist Score, and then I'll route that MIDI into Usynth or a different plugin, whatever you want to use as the final destination plugin. Load an instance of each instrument. Then on Virtual Pianist, you want to set the MIDI into Scalar. Set it again to Scalar. Change this from Auto to In. And then on the Final Destination plugin, you sent in this example, select Virtual Pianist Score. And then also select Virtual Pianist again. And then now your MIDI is set up. If you don't want to hear the audio from Scalar 2 or from Virtual Pianist, just make sure to deselect and turn that audio off. And then every time now when you play Scalar 2, it will play U-Synth. Let's lay down some chords in Scalar. Now let's open up Virtual Pianist. Here we go. Let's listen to that Virtual Pianist sequence on U-Synth. This one's starting to have a little sassy feel. Let's throw some U-Jam Rico drums on it. For those sassy drums, I have to throw a sassy bass on there. I'm going to use UJAM's Virtual Basses Mellow 2. When using the chords you generated from Scalar 2, try to keep those above C2 because anything below C2 is going to trigger the intensity level of your pattern or sequence, and you may not want to do that. This has two different modes. So you have a player mode and an instrument mode. The player mode is going to play sequences. The instrument mode is going to play this like a regular piano. You also have different characters that you can play with, like the Abyss, Damped, Mellow, Pure, Royal. These are just different characteristics and give it a different sound uh, of the piano. The dark and light, you can kind of go from dark to light depending on the mood of your track. And uh, you also have different finishers right here so that you can play around with different uh, effects and adjust the different amounts. When you click up here, you're able to uh, go into the, uh, the, the different presets. You also have latch right here. This will allow you to play one key and once you release your fingers, it will keep playing through the pattern. Uh, the timing, this is one of my favorite places to go because you can adjust the speed from halftime, normal to double. You can also adjust the swing or you can humanize the piano playing and you can also change it from song position to note on. The other virtual pianist features I recommend playing around with to get different results are the velocity to change the note volume as well as busyness. This will add additional notes into the sequence that's being played. And then you have this real-time note display up here and it's representing your left hand and your right hand playing. So if you adjust these different sliders, it will affect how far down it will play or how high it will play on the piano. And I just, I tend to play with these back and forth just to see uh, what kind of uh, results I'm gonna get. And if I'm trying to get it to play a certain range, I'll adjust these. Toggling between universal voicing, complex voicing, simplified voicing, and setting the virtual pianist to the key of your track will help it to sit better in your track. Before we listen to how this song came out, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell for more music production tips. And I'll see you in that next video. Let's listen to how we did.